Hi, today I'd like to show you a finger style arrangement for rolling and tumbling. I'm tuned to G, D in the middle, G on the high string. Just using this little Fender amp, got it set on its very first setting. And it sounds like there's a touch of reverb and a touch of echo. This song has been around a long time and there's many, many versions of it. There's also versions of it that have different words, all sorts of stuff. This version I'm going to show you today is sort of solo, so it's something you can play all by yourself and it'll sound you know pretty good and still be uh, recognizable. Um, I'm going to do it for you, a little slower than I'd probably do it in real life, or I'm going to try to anyway. <laughs> I think that'll do for the lesson. I'm using a forward roll, which is thumb, first finger, and second finger. Just that simple. And then I'm hitting the G note on the middle string, which is the fifth fret. It's the same as a high string. But if you do it like that, it's easier, but it doesn't sound as cool. At least I don't think so. And you're always at liberty to choose other notes and mess around with it, especially after you've done it once, you know? Or the whole chord. But anyway, there it is. Forward roll. Fifth fret on the middle. And then the whole three frets. That's a forward roll again. Then fret three. And you make that. I usually start that a little flat. Sounds a little out tune ease into being in tune. Makes us, I think it makes it sound a little cooler. So you do that and then you go to the four chord which is C and it's on the fifth fret. So that's five three zero five. play the lick again and I'm just playing all three notes at once with my fingers and of course once again if you feel the mood you can just select different notes to make it different especially if you're repeating the song a lot then you're back to lick one then we go to the four chord again this is what makes this song different in all the permutations and everything that I found so far, you can tell it's this song because it goes to the four twice. So same thing we did before. Just like that, forward roll again. Now we go to the five chord on the seventh fret. I'm gonna make this very straightforward. Just gonna hit it four times, right in time. Well, I mean, you can use vibrato and stuff. Like that. And then to the four chord on the fifth fret. I'm going to play this more like eighth notes. Which gives me a little space up here. I'll show you what I mean. And of course, that's seven, three, open to the lick. on the last time, which would be the turnaround, you'd do it once normal. And then the next one. And then go to the five chord on seven. 